Dude, dude, I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. So here's what you do. Put a vending machine in here, all the way in. Don't forget to turn off broadcasting, of course. And another one on top, just guide it in there. Turn it around, go full hokey pokey on that mother... And... Ta-da! It's so freaking funny. A vending machine hiding a vending machine. Better yet, it's foolproof. It works every time. And it's insanely strong. You could design a whole little base around this trick. If they raid from the outside, they have to destroy two vending machines to get in, which is very expensive. But also, it despawns all the vending machine loot, because vending machines do that when they get destroyed. So they actually get nothing, which is... Now, of course, if they get in your core and know about this, well, but nobody's gonna find it, unless they're my subs. But let's face it, you guys are the most well-informed Rust players in the world at this point. And that's it. Or is it? Ah, uh, you know me, I got more for you, much more. Excuse me. So let's say you really need your turrets to work. So guess what? <laughs> it's still funny to me. Battery goes, sorry. Battery goes as to the right as you can place it. You, you know the drill. But can you actually access it with the with the electric with the line thing? And it actually it actually works. It actually all works. I've got the power. But you know something? Someone could feasibly uh, loot this vending machine here. So let's make some unlootable storage instead. Yep, this works too. And this trick is almost foolproof. You, you, do, you should practice it a bit though. And if you do it just right, you can even access the lock. Oh, forgot to mention, if they do destroy the vending machine, unless they know exactly what to do, the door is gonna be fine. Unspoiled and unharmed. There is an exception I'll show you in a minute, but only you will know. And of course, we, we have to upkeep this insanity, don't we? Huh? Just make absolutely sure the TC is close to the door and to the right, like here. But what's that in the background there, G-Lights? Time for some G-Lights deep lore. So I got this new duo base coming up. And I figured I'll give this old horse of a trick a little run around the whatever, so naturally I tested the balls off of it. Tested. Get it? Never mind, it's a, it's a gametes joke. Sort of. Turns out, if you splash this specific part of the door frame from specifically a side-on angle, you can, though somewhat unreliably, splash the door through the vending machine. And then, if you completely inundate this room with fire, some of it eventually gets pushed in and kills the TC. So I thought, hmm, this is strong, but what can I place there that won't die to incense? And naturally... So now you know. Also, how the balls did I not think about this before? 